and welcome back to GSP Sea Fishing. And in today's quick video, I am going to show you what I do to prepare these raw razor clams into a suitable bait for fishing. Now these are available from Morrison's. They do a lot of packs like this, um, three for ten pound at the moment. So you can get uh, these razor clams. I've seen white bait in there. There's uh, mussels. Some of the stuff is cooked which is not ideal. So you want to go for the raw items that they got for sale and you can get a selection of three and use them as bait. And razor clams are a really good bait on their day. But these ones, once they defrost, get a little bit soggy. So what we're going to do is prepare them, stiffen these baits up so they can make a good usable bait that's durable when fishing. So first thing to do, let's open this packet. And there you go, you've got all these razor clams in there. This is still frozen. Now what we want to do is whilst it's frozen, we want to try and get the shell off of these clams whilst they're still frozen. Now sometimes they split open. There we go, that one has. And sometimes you end up breaking the shell. So just be careful because the shell can be sharp. So there we are. We've got razor clam there. Now what I'm going to do is lay it long ways on this tray behind and what I'm going to do is go through and try and get these all out of the shells whilst they are frozen. Right so there we have it all of the razor clams deshelled. Now I've done it whilst they're frozen so that the actual integrity of the clam stays together. If you do it when they're defrosted it's very easy just to pull them apart and you end up with nothing. So now what I'm going to do whilst they're on the tray I've got them all facing running that way on the tray and I'm going to prop up this side of the tray so all the water when it defrosts can run down to the bottom of the tray. I'll put some kitchen towel at the bottom to absorb that. I don't want them running across that way because basically they end up damming the water and then they're just going to sit soaking it all back up. So I'm going to prop this up with the box they came out of and then once they've fully defrosted we'll go on to the next stage of preparation. So now you can see all of these razor clams have defrosted. They're all a bit soggy and sloppy, but um, that's okay. The next step is going to sort that out. What we are going to do, we are going to cover them in table salt. So we're basically salting this bait. So what we really want to do is get your jar, your tub of table salt, and really give these a good covering of salt. And really uh, don't... Uh, don't scrimp on the salt. This really does uh, help to get this uh, bait dried out nicely. And let's cover these all with the salt. And for a tray like this, you're probably looking at a half a tub of this salt which is 750 grams so you're looking at about 400 grams of salt I think eventually make sure you cover as much as you can get it all on there there we go lovely there we have it. These razor clams are now salted. So what I'm going to do, leave these overnight to dry out. And then we can get them bagged up, ready for fishing. Right, here we are. About 18, 20 hours later, these have really dried out well. They're not this gooey, slop, snot-like uh, bait that's sort of pretty much unusable. They're now quite solid. They are not putting that. That's solid. That's dried out nicely. These can be used as single baits on a size 3.0. You can bind a couple together on a bigger hook or you can use them for bream, smaller species or even for tipping off your lug. Now all I'm going to do is collect these together, take off the worst of the salt like so and then they can go into a freezer bag and into the freezer ready for when I next go fishing. Anyway, I hope this has helped. I hope this is a good little tip. 
and it's another bait that's available in the supermarkets that you can utilize and it works well for a lot of species there we have it razor clam salted razor clam very tough very durable anyway till next time tight lines